What's up YouTube fans? Today we're going to take a look at the Transart Metal Spider Queen or their version of a Transmetal Black Arachnia. So this was sent to me by none other than G Tony who sends me all of the Beast War stuff plus some other things but we did look at the Metal Mouse last now we're looking at the Metal Spider. Now we were supposed to get the Transart Megatron in between and for whatever reason they had a recall they pulled them back and we still haven't gotten it so I'm still waiting on that one from G Tony but in the meantime we got this lady here nice artwork on there on the front <clears throat> on the back we've got this cartoon image we're just supposed to emulate that scene from the actual cartoon they always do nice box art here uh, it's basically the same size that we got with the metal mouse and I actually like that figure, I just, I happened to break it, it was definitely user error on that one. But, Shozy did send the parts and we got it fixed, so let's take a look at this. We have, it looks like an extra piece of instruction, so I guess they're saying... Okay, that looks like a tab, people must be breaking that, so I guess it says to be careful with that. And we get the instructions, which aren't really instructions, they're just a QR code to take you to a website, so you can follow my instructions. I never really like these video instructions, it's Chinese ones. Then you get this collector's card, metal spider, there's her tech specs. Very nice. So, at the bottom of the package we had this, this looks like her weapon. It's interesting. Um, Usually they package this inside. Maybe it's just didn't fit, but you got a nice paint detail on it. Very cool. Very well painted. We have her legs here, which we'll have to attach. And assuming we get eight of these. Yep, there's eight of them. Nicely painted in a metallic purple. Those installed. Got another tray here. So here's the stand with the weight that we got just like last time to hold it down. So we'll take a look at that. I'm not going to take it out right now. Here's her backpack, I assume. I wonder why these are all packaged separately. That's interesting to me. Maybe it, oh wow, that is gorgeous. Look at the paint on there. Gold, metallic blue, metallic red. There's a gradient of paint, some silver down here. That's gorgeous. It's really well done. And then here's the main vent, which looks like there's a little bit of assembly required. So, probably going to do that later, but here she is. Very cool looking. Lots and lots of paint, nice and shiny, lots of detail. It does kind of remind me of the MP. Oh, the joints are really tight. Oh, that was interesting. That just came right off. Is this magnetic? Hmm. Okay, it is magnetic. That's interesting. Here's where you put all those legs, which we'll put on later. Really nice head sculpt. There. Yeah, pretty cool. So I'm excited to take a look at this. Uh, we've had some pretty good stuff from Transart. By the way, it does have die cast. These pieces right here are die cast. So she's going to come die cast in the feet. Pretty light figure, um, but it does have a good balance to the die cast. So I'll get this guy, this guy, this lady checked out. So stay tuned for the review and we'll see you then.